Today, in China, it is a fact that a person who says ideal will be laughed at. Let's me imagine, at ordinary parties, someone stood up and said that I have an ideal, everyone must look at each other and feel awkward, they think this person may be a lunatic or bragging. This probably means that something that should belong to us was taken away. In today's story, we need to introduce a boy, his name is Justin, and he go to the Golden Triangle at the age of 18. In a place where children cannot distinguish chalk gray from drugs, he want to children can see the world. At first, no one believed him. The children stood outside the tent where he taught and dared not go in, even his friends teased his stubbornness. After a while, the things are getting better, but he suddenly received a warning, a serious warning. Followed by the second, the third. The person who talk about their ideals are untrustworthy, and the person who does it will be respected. But sometimes, the price is too high. My friend has lived in the Golden Triangle for more than a year, and the boy is the person who affects him the most. For children in the Golden Triangle Mountains, there are often only three choices for their life, joining a drug trafficking organization as a child soldier, to be a waitress in a casino, or staying at home to grow crops. Early July 2009, in a temporary tent, my friend Justin was teaching children in class. Looking at the 20 children sitting underneath, the age is uneven. The elder one is 15 or 16, the youngest is only 4 or 5 years old. Justin wrote an A on the blackboard with white chalk, and read it out loud. However, there is no imaginary that the follow-up happened. The children looked at him for dully and no one made a noise. Justin was very anxious. He is like the conductor of a symphony concert, to waving his arms all along. The chalk draws various arcs in the air, and repeat A, 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 continuously. In August 1991, Justin was born in a middle-class family of Boston, USA. His father runs a law firm, and his mother is an orthopedist. He has an older brother who is taking a medical license and a sister who is two years younger than Justin. Justin is very beautiful. His facial features are very three-dimensional. He have blue eyes, a thick blonde curly hair. The height is 1.8 meters but it is not strong. And his legs are thin and long. You have to hide your legs here. Don't be found out. And there will be danger, I laughed at him, making a general dirty gesture with my hands. Then I hold an empty fist in his left hand. The right finger reaches into the hole. After he listened to it, and he asked me anxiously three times, really? I nodded with a smile. Since then, in the damp and hot, Justin has became the only man in trousers at Debang. Since I know that Justin was born in a small month than me, I asked him to call me brother. And I told him I protect him in the Golden Triangle. He refuted me seriously, we are not related by blood. And I can't call you brother. There was a joint photo in his wallet for him and his sister, and they were wearing sky blue ski suits, standing at the top of the snow mountain with smile to the camera. Your sister is so beautiful, and can you introduce to me as a girlfriend? I looked at the photo to ask Justin. He frowned, thinking for more than 10 seconds, I can't answer you now, I'm going to ask her permission. Justin was different from his peers when he was a kid. In an era with everyone is chasing manga and games frantically, he loved watching the documentaries on TV about environmental pollution, animal protection, and the lives of people in poor countries. When I think of that there are so many children of my age who can't get help, I will fall into self-blame and I couldn't sleep all night. I tell myself that I have to do something. Justin chose to join World Vision International. This is an international charity, and it is determined to help children in poor areas get educational resources. 
I am the smallest member of the Boston division. When Justin said it, there is obvious pride in the eyes. In his 12 years old, he ran to office of Schwenninghui's Boston alone, and knocked on the door of the person in charge's office. He disagreed with my request. It is said that 16 years old is the minimum age for membership. But I ran to disturb him every day after school, insisting on a week. Finally, he couldn't help it. And he can only talk to my father. Justin laughed, but he didn't expect that his father is very supportive of him. The World Vision will regularly organize personnel to have classes for children in local welfare homes. Justin, as an accompanying person to help the operation, is responsible for purchasing materials, registrants personnel, and maintenance order. In four years, except I didn't go to the stage, I have been clear the rest of the process. Justin told me that public welfare is not simply capital and material assistance. You can't stand high above the people who need help, but you need to from the other party's real needs, and also take into account the self-esteem in their hearts. The first time I met Justin was his third day in Debang. At that time, a huge map of the world was nailed on the blackboard. More than 20 iron folding desks and plastic stools were placed in the tent. The National Geographic magazine was placed on the table. Justin is facing the world map and spoke in fluent Burmese the exact location of each picture. The surroundings of the tent are not closed. Anyone can go in. I stood by and listened for a while. Although I was not familiar with Burmese, and I can't understand the content of the lecture, I think the picture of National Geographic is beautiful. Looking around and founding no seats, I just pulled up the child closest to me, sitting on the stool by yourself. Before the butt was hot, I saw Justin walking straight towards me, wrapped the arm around the child, and stared at me with eyes. The moment, more than 20 pairs of childish eyes shot at me, I felt humiliated immediately, and stood up unconsciously. Just when I wanted to go out, Justin ran to the small tent where he lived, took out a stool from it and handed it to me. At the same, he also gave me a copy of National Geographic. Chinese people? Justin asked me in English after class. After seeing me nod, he immediately converted to less fluent Chinese, Hello, have you eaten? I was amused by him, followed Justin also laughed. Are you here to help the people here? I nodded hesitantly. Wow, which organization are you from? Justin was excited instantly. Seeing that I didn't answer, he didn't care it. Instead, he took me to taste the food he brought. This is a sandwich I made by myself. Unfortunately, the shelf life is very short, not much. And this one is for you. I'm tired of local Myanmar food, Justin's sandwich can be said to be delicious on earth, he let me to eat with him, but I only ate for one day to finish the sandwich, leaving only compressed biscuits. I don't like to eat it, but I still come to Justin's tent every day. Because my English is very poor, during the conversation, I often let Justin to repeat what he just said. At this moment, he will habitually glance down to the right and add some Chinese when he spoke English. In my opinion, he is a genius. He not only knows some simple Chinese, but also speaks German and Spanish. In order to this trip of the Golden Triangle, he even used his free time to learn Burmese. Justin prepared for three years. This is my homework I have done for these years. He took out a thick stack of notebooks, which recorded the two-month detailed lesson plan he made above, to build friendship with children from day one to day three, to show National Geographic for children from day four to day ten. On the eleventh day, the courses of playing landscape pictures and songs from all over the world will be added, on the fifteenth day, English is officially to be taught and so on. What's the use of looking at pictures and listening to songs? 
I think the course is unscientific. The smile on Justin's face was taken back, this is a must. And I must let the children here understand the beauty of the world. This is far more useful than knowledge. He said that this was just a preliminary plan. Followed he will call on his companions to come it. They can bring advanced of crop farming knowledge, seeds and equipment to establish an experimental school and help people find a long-term and stable economic source. This is a long-term project. I plan to spend five years to complete all of this, and now it's just the first step. Justin pointed out his index finger and compared a 1. You are a good person. Although I don't understand this behavior, it doesn't stop me from extending my thumb. At this time, there was a heavy rain suddenly in the sky, which is what happens almost every day in the sultry golden triangle. Justin rubbed his curly hair with his right hand, grinning broadly, and the rain hit the snow white front teeth. Half year ago, I came to Debang Myanmar from Kunming, Yunnan, China. I worked as a truck driver under Uncle Guess in a local gangster of Debang. Guess uncle was contracted for the delivery of life supplies for drug dealers in the mountains. My job is to deliver food to the people who enter the mountain. The food like coke and instant noodles so on. Although doing business with drug dealers, I don't need to deal with them directly. And it is relatively safe. In the Golden Triangle in July, because of the struggle between two big drug dealers, the situation become extremely tense. I don't need to deliver goods and I rely on Justin to relieve boredom. The number of students coming to class has also been increasing. At the beginning, I watched National Geographic on my own seat. Soon, I became a person who maintained order in the classroom. By the tenth day, the tent is already full of children. Even there are many women and old people standing outside the tent and looked up. The class time is from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., extending to 6 p.m. Hey, everything is going as expected, isn't it? When I just parked the car in front the door of the tent, Justin came over to give me a hug. I pushed away with disgust. Then I took him a bottle of coke. Justin finished the coke in a few sips. In return, Justin took a piece of chocolate to me from his pocket. I did not open the package, and put it in my hand a few times. As for these children, the teachers as important or chocolate? Justin brought a few boxes of chocolate over as a magic weapon to inspire students. He will make a registration for the children who come to class on time every day, rewarding a piece of chocolate after class. One thing that Justin likes to do is to open the box and count how many pieces of chocolate are left in the box. Even if the box is full, it must be opened one by one and counted. If it is still in the amount that is expected to be released, he will hum a few songs happily. Justin told me that he will be very happy when he sees that everything is obviously getting better here and the chocolate hasn't been delivered. In order to get this piece of chocolate, many children often appear at the door of the tent at 5 or 6 in the morning, waiting for 2 or 3 hours. Justin has mentioned a few times that the child didn't need to come it so early, but it isn't work. Do you think such a reward is good? I asked Justin. Justin remained silent for a while. It's not good, but I am afraid. He was afraid that the child would not come again when the temptation of chocolate was gone. Don't think too much, the adults in class don't have chocolate. I comforted him. His eyes fall into the ground, and his mood was very low. I decided to give him a lesson. Have you met her? I pointed to a little girl near the front who was squatting and peeing on the ground. Justin nodded, this is the student who came to have a class from the first day. 
I asked Justin to stand behind the car, walked into the tent, and took the chalk box for class, then waved the hand to little girl. The girl is 11 or 12 years old. Because of chronic malnutrition, she looks very thin, with her collarbone raised high followed skin. I motioned the girl to spread her palms and poured the chalk dust from the box on it, like giving niece candy. I reached my hand to touch her head. The girl grinned to bowed three times at me, and then turned her head to look around. After confirming that no one was there, she ran away with her fists. She found a remote corner, squatted down against the mud wall, and pressed one side of her nostril. When one of the nostrils sucked, the whole person began to cough violently, and his nose and tears kept flowing into the ground. Justin held the rear-view mirror with one hand, his mouth slightly opened, and his right hand was raised. He stayed in the air for a long time, and then put it down. I got into the co-pilot, took the long-cherished Erguoto from the drawer, and handed him a bottle. Justin saw the bottle in his hand and threw it on the ground without looking, the bottle with red stars is very hard, not broken, just smashed a small hole on the muddy dirt road. Justin hurried towards the girl fast. Before he reached it, the little girl struggled to stand up when she saw Justin. Perhaps it was too long to squat, which caused her head to lack of oxygen. Her feet shook a circle, and she staggered a few steps before she was able to move her legs forward running. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Justin's neck veins bulge out. I stooped to pick up Erguoto in the ground. These children think that chalk ash is a drug like heroin. Here, drugs are expensive snacks. I lifted the chalk box on my hand. Did you find that there is a lot less chalk in it? Justin is like a lizard with his throat is stuck, but he have helpless. I handed on Erguoto again, opened the trunk of the car, and took two fishing rods out of it, go fishing. Justin didn't answer, I dragged him. The way, Justin asked me, why should she run? I told him that the girl thought you will come to beaten him. Near the river, Justin suddenly said, I'm sorry. I shook my head, it's okay, this is the Golden Triangle. The river that runs through De Bang is called Chafe River. The river is not wide and the water quality is slightly dirty. It seems that there is a layer of blue-green foam floating on the surface. In recent years, because of the more serious environmental pollution, many local people have infected disease. There are dozens of boxes of mineral water in the materials brought by Justin, and they are distributed to every family nearby on the first day. At the same time, I promise to everyone that I will install a water purification equipment here so that everyone can drink clean water. No one believed at first. Soon after, Justin's sincerity made everyone start to trust in him, and they agreed to give their children to Justin. There are many elder man and woman in Debang. They can't understand the concept of going to school, and Justin said to let them come to play. It's boring. Can we play a game? I was bored after fishing for a while and suggested, you catch the fish first, I will give you $10. I catch the fish first. The iPod in your pocket belongs to me. Justin shook his head, I don't gamble, and I can't buy an iPod for $10. Is it a bet if the value is equal? I continued, so, if you win, I point out a mistake in your class today. Justin immediately turned around, is there a mistake in my class? I nodded, a big mistake. He pursed his lips for a long time, okay. Justin caught a small fish first, I don't want ten dollars, you can tell me where the mistake is. I tilted my head with looked at Justin for a while, I haven't figured out where to find your a mistake. Justin got angry and gave me a punch. I am lonely at night and I want to listen to the song. I will give it to you the day when I go back. 
I chatted with Justin in English. We have talked about topics such as cultural differences, religious beliefs and love views. Do you Chinese can Kung Fu? I inserted the fishing rod into the soil and walked to the shore to find a flat pebble. I bent down and shook my hands, hitting a dozen straight floats. Chinese Kung Fu. I turned to Justin. Justin waved his hand to me, this is not Chinese Kung Fu. Then he explained in detail the physical knowledge of why stones can float on the water. He disagreed with me to come, but I succeeded in persuading him. Justin said he had a man's negotiation with his father, his parents asked him two questions. The one is that you are sure to do thing. Second, do you have to give all the effort that you should do for this matter? Justin expressed his will strongly, of course, I also told him that he was traveling with six or seven companions, and there was absolutely no danger. At this time, the fishing rod in my hand have sank, and I thought it was a fish have coming. I pulled it up, and it was a black plastic bag. Aren't you cheating? It's not cheating parents. Justin answered quickly. How about you, how do you convince your father? I tore the plastic bag off the hook and tossed it aside, my father is not a good person. Justin didn't ask any more questions, reaching for a few pats on my back. Justin and I talked about the difficulties of the Chinese college entrance examination. He said he couldn't believe it, wow wow wow. Are you past the exam of college, right? I nodded in frustration. You can come to go to University of the United States, he said. I glanced at him, no money. He asked me how much money I needed, and I just spoke a figure of 100,000 United States dollars. Justin propped his head in one hand, thinking for a long time, I can lend you. I chuckled, I have no money to pay. Justin shook his head, although you have no money now, I believe you will be have it in the future. I ignored Justin, went to the puddle next to it, caught a bug, hung it on the hook, and threw it into the river. After a while, are you serious? Justin nodded vigorously. Are you in love casual? Justin listened to me and opened his mouth in surprise. We are serious about feelings. He said that being serious about feelings is a necessary option for a mature man. I have never fall in love. I asked him, then you have sex with girls? Justin nodded. My first sex experience was at the age of 14, but that was just party entertainment. He said that many of the materials he came over this time were sponsored by friends. He came here with everyone's expectations. The projector in the tent was provided by the girl he liked. That girl is also a good person. I extended my thumb towards Justin. Yes, she is beautiful. Why don't you confess to love her? Because I'm not sure if I'm physically impulsive? I had determined I love it that the day before yesterday, but I was not sure yesterday. I held my forehead by hand. Are you sure today? No. Justin looked like a deflated ball. The river at night is calm, and the sound of fine raindrops falling in the water can be heard. Justin fell silent. Can I help them change? I don't know. I shook my head honestly. The atmosphere was silent for a long time. At least, it won't be any worse. I said to Justin. Justin didn't know that after class every day, it was the moment of struggle between children who got chocolate and those who didn't got chocolate. I saw a child who was knocked to the ground, and his head was constantly struck with stones by his companion, but he never released his right hand holding chocolate. In this land, violence will only hide, not dissipate. After that night, Justin became harder in class. How do you think what I said just now? After class, Justin ignored my against. 
and he spoke with me for half an hour. Because my Burmese language is so poor that I can't understand it very well. I shook my head. Justin glared at me and started practicing again. He began to adopt a one-on-one -on -one conversation mode. He called the children aside and asked them how they feel about the content of the class, if there is anything they don't understand, and what content they like. But it was all worried. The child just stood, never answered, and he was were timid. If Justin did not grab the child's arm, they would immediately run away. Back quote, children are afraid that you will hit them and dare not answer. I said. Justin asked me the reasons. I told him, speaking bad words of others is getting beaten up here. The children of the mountains are a universal microcosm in golden triangle, filled with both fear and tyranny. One day, Justin told me that his efforts to communicate with his children had paid off, with one child saying that there were so many people standing in the tent that he couldn't see the blackboard sitting in the back. Could you do me a favor? He intends to raise the steps by which the blackboard is placed. So. I asked Justin. Can you put the two bamboo beds in your room here? Justin pulled me over to his desk and indicated the size of the board. He said that some stones under the bamboo bed would make the board very tall. And where shall I sleep? I looked at him with feigned irritation. Justin pulled out an iPod from his pocket and handed it to me as compensation. Never mind. I waved my iPod back. Perhaps because of the blackboard, some children choose to communicate with Justin one after another. They learn to raise their hands to speak in class. Some girls even say that they like Justin. Things seem to be looking up. I was told to leave here today. Justin told me that after a class one day he was surrounded by several locals who told him to stop teaching the children. Who are they? I asked him. Justin shook his head to show he didn't know. Why don't you stop for a while? Subconsciously I thought it was wrong. I am an American citizen, this is my right and freedom, and I will never surrender. Justin has a high pitch. He insisted, and received two similar warnings in the days that followed. I tried to talk him out of it again, and Jess, perhaps bored by my words, told me directly, if it does happen, my parents and my brother and sister. I felt helpless. If you don't stop this time, you may end up in this place, and all the things you want to do will be gone. Justin has said that he would like to go to other countries and help people in different countries. He has even made some preparations. This is the first thing I want to do. If I don't do well in the first one, I will retreat in danger, and then I can't hold on at all. Although he was only a reserve member of the Commonwealth organization, he refused to compromise. I couldn't persuade him to set his tent on fire. After a few minutes of thinking, I didn't see what Justin was up to. Three days later, when it didn't rain, I asked Justin down to the river for a drink. They put a great pile of dry wood on the stone, doused it with petrol and turned it into a bonfire. We sat down facing the river. This one is very nice. Justin and I had headphones and listened to music on our iPods. It's country music. Justin started to explain country music to me. Asked, I suddenly heard a karsacha sound in the distance. The noise was familiar to me. It was the sound of boots on a rock. Who wears boots in the golden triangle? Before I could think much, I saw a shadow in the darkness close to the fire, and then the shapes of the three men appeared. The first time I saw their faces, I knew something was up. Those of us who run marginal businesses call it the drug dealer face, the kind of guy who runs the inner circle of drug cartels, the kind of guy who has actually seen blood. 
The leader stood and stared at us for about six or seven seconds. Jasper said, what is it? And tried to get up. I put my hand on Justin's and tried to stop him talking, but the words stuck in my chest and wouldn't come out. It wasn't long before Justin got into an argument. He was so emotional that his right hand kept flapping in the air. Almost immediately, the leader put a pistol to Justin's head and pulled the trigger without hesitation. I don't know the exact size of the gun, but it must have been a large caliber pistol, for a small caliber pistol makes a hole in the head when shot at close range, and a large caliber pistol makes the back of the head pop open like a garnet, and the pulp seemed to fall to the ground and be smashed. Just then, Jasper fell, his right hand still waving, shaking on the ground. One of them took the jun that hung a pig's head from some market, put it round Justin's neck, pulled and pulled it, put it into a big black plastic bag that the other had prepared, tied it with a rope, tied it in a knot, and hung a stone at the other end and sank into the river nearby. My whole person all men, only remember that day as oneself walk to go home, to other things have no impression at all, when wake up again restore consciousness, just discover oneself lie prone on the bed Russia fierce. Slow for two days, guess uncle came to find me to drink. Half a bottle of whiskey brought me to. I looked up at the roof. Uncle guess, do you know there's an American here? Uncle Guess nodded. I sat in the chair very uncomfortable, the bottom everywhere, he died a few days ago. I know. My hands were hanging over my legs, hunched over, breathing heavily, and I looked at the table. Guess, Uncle, did you know that beforehand? Uncle Guess felt a little funny, this is my home, don't you think? I nodded. That's right. There was silence for a moment. I plucked up my courage, looked at Uncle Guess and took a few deep breaths. Why didn't you tell me? Uncle Guess laughed out, why should I tell you? At that moment, I didn't know how to answer. After a few days, I may not be able to hide the mood, Guess Uncle felt my change, a few times to find me to drink, he has a disappointed expression. Two days later, Uncle Chai came to see me. Say to guess Uncle Sun, is actually a guess uncle's hand, grow thin, a face of scar, he is the kind of guess uncle to go to the toilet will guard at the door to pass paper flatterer, so I call him guess uncle Sun. He gave me the reason why Justin was killed, drug cartels in the Golden Triangle are fast depleting and need a regular replenishment. Since the end of the rainy season in October is the golden period for shipping, and it takes at least two months to train a child soldier, recruitment is generally concentrated in July and August. In addition to recruiting mercenaries from neighboring countries, these drug trafficking organizations mainly recruit from nearby mountain villages. Due to its large population and high rate of production, Debang has been serving as a medium child soldier supplier. Contrary to popular belief, drug cartels recruit children not by taking them, but by consulting with their families. If the child survives, the family gets between two and seven bags of rice a month, depending on how the organization evaluates. During the conscription, the children are usually asked for their own opinions, which is to prevent the children from having too many negative emotions, which is not good for training. However, most of the children are willing to go there if given some snacks. Justin's arrival changes all that. After Justin opened his account in elementary school, not only the children but also many adults started to say no. The herd mentality in Burma was strong, and Debang was so small that when one family rejected the application, others would often choose to think twice. Why did they change their choice? The conscripts get food on a regular basis, and the chocolates that Jess orders only last for a few months. Perhaps to see the beauty of the world? Maybe it's the hope Justin promised them? I didn't ask. 
I could only guess. Why hasn't anyone told me this before? I asked, annoyed. Uncle Chai looked at me in amazement. Everyone knows that. It was like a hammer that woke me up. If I'd known that, I'd have burned Justin's tent. Unfortunately, there is no if. Order soon returned to the Golden Triangle, and Uncle Chai gave me a new delivery. As I passed the village, I saw children and women standing by the side of the road with their hands outstretched. I stopped and, as usual, took out small packages of rice and oil from the trunk and gave them them. Back in the tube land, it was a week old evening, and it was drizzling. I went to the tent again, where the sea had dried up. Nearby old men squatted on their hookahs, the white mist rising quickly disappeared, women are busy cooking, are some wild grass and mushrooms, do not want to add salt, there were far fewer familiar faces, except for the younger ones who were throwing stones at each other. Nothing seems to have changed. Until I saw a boy lying in the shade, flipping through the pages of National Geographic in front of him, grinning.